Vietnam is one of the most biodiverse countries in the world. More than 10% of the world's species live in its mountains, rivers, forests, and coastal ecosystems, including many that can only be found within its borders. However, economic development and a growing population without sufficient governance or enforcement has led to severe environmental degradation from causes such as overfishing, deforestation, unsustainable tourism, and the inadequate management of toxic waste. Despite biodiversity's many benefits, efforts to fund projects to protect it have historically lacked coordination and focus in Vietnam. Việt Nam uh, với cái uh, đánh giá rằng là uh, vai trò đa dạng sinh học uh, rất là uh, quan trọng như vậy thì trong thời gian vừa qua thì Bộ Tài nguyên và Môi trường uh, cũng đã uh, thực hiện nhiều cái hoạt động uh, nhằm huy động cái nguồn lực uh, cho công tác bảo tồn đa dạng sinh học và chúng tôi thì rất là uh, vui mừng là được là một nước uh, trong số nhiều nước tham gia cái sáng kiến toàn cầu uh, về tài chính cho đa dạng sinh học the Global Biodiversity Finance Initiative, or BIOFIN, aims to find, understand, and use innovative ways to finance the safeguarding of their natural resources. In Vietnam, the project is being implemented by UNDP and the Biodiversity Conservation Agency from Vietnam's Ministry of Natural Resources and Environment. It examines existing policies and expenditures regarding biodiversity to calculate what solutions will be needed to ensure a strong national strategy for protecting the environment. According to the Biodiversity Expenditure Review conducted by the project, about 1 billion USD was spent for biodiversity in Vietnam from 2011 to 2015, of which three quarters came from the public sector. It is estimated that an additional 600 million USD will be needed from 2020 to 2025 to achieve the national biodiversity conservation targets. Many of the mechanisms recommended in Vietnam's Biofin report are practical ways to build on existing structures for finance management that have great potential for supporting future work in biodiversity, such as partnerships with social organizations and business communities, payment for forest environmental services, reduced emissions from deforestation and forest degradation, result-based budgeting, entrance fees, ecotourism fees, and natural resources and environment taxes and fees. Thanks to Biofin, this old and outdated museum in northern Vietnam's Lash Cuc Phuong National Park is currently undergoing renovations that will transform it into a hub for educating tourists and locals alike about the beautiful natural environment in which it resides. The museum is already in possession of an extensive collection of local flora and fauna including many of the park's 280 known species of butterflies, and the newly designed exhibits will allow it to bring these denizens of Cuc Phuong's vibrant ecosystem to life for visitors from all over the world. Funds from the museum's entrance fee will also be used as a new source of financing to support the park's conservation projects in the long term. The brand new Cuc Phuong Museum is expected to open its doors to the public in 2019. With regard to UNDP's support uh, through the Biofilm project, uh, we have been paying a lot of attention to um, uh, the new innovative uh, financials, uh, financing schemes uh, to generate more financial resources for preservation and the conservation of biodiversity uh, by paying more attention to uh, the management, proper management uh, of national parks and the protected areas uh, by doing so uh, the government is encouraged to, uh, uh, to generate uh, more resources and the new resources. Biofin is also helping Vietnam to improve result-based budgeting. In this innovative approach, Biofin is working to create a solid foundation for the application of result-based budgeting. Result-based budgeting has been reflected in the new budget law, but has not yet been applied in any protected areas. Moreover, Biofin is inspiring the next generation to think about the importance of biodiversity. Through a video and online speaking competition organized by the project, hundreds of university students understand better about biodiversity, and they in turn made short films about conservation, showing their ideas about ways to finance it. Through this project, 
more finance mechanisms to improve the country's ecosystems will be recommended for future sustainable development strategies. Thanks to Biofin, a promising way forward is being offered for the long-term funding of the conservation work vital to the preservation of Vietnam's rich natural resources.